Hi, gang. I want to talk about three theories in a sociocultural approach that talks about the influence of family structures and how family structure can lead to disorders. I'm not going to talk about treatments in this because the treatment is to get the entire family involved as part of the therapy for an individual who is seeking treatment because in order for the person to get effective treatment, the entire family dynamic around them also needs to be modified. So for here, I'm focusing more on getting it in. So here, one of the first ones is Bowen's intergenerational. Now this theory focus on the family system, the complete family system, and how the family interacts with each other. What are the emotional interactions among family members? And definitely talks about, I guess you could say triangles, where how three people all interact with each other. And if you look in the picture on the bottom right where it says the family system, and it says mother, father, sister, brother, you, if you'll notice between everybody, there is a two-way interaction. There's a two-way relationship between everybody. And hopefully you can also see how within there, there are triangles connecting mother, father, sister, mother, father, brother, mother, father, you, sister, brother, you, all of that dynamic. What Bowen talks about is how those interactions among the family members if they're dysfunctional, they tend to be repetitions of dysfunction. And this, if you've ever heard of the cycle of abuse where the idea is if you watched your mother be abused or your father be abused or your family members be abused or if you yourself were abused, when you become the adult again, you're going to abuse a spouse, you're going to abuse your children, that that malfunctional interaction that you are in will just keep repeating, 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 repeating. So the idea is if you get the entire family involved, then you can break those patterns of behavior that are dysfunctional. Remember, we're talking about getting disorders in. Minutian structural, it's the same thing. Here, good functioning, according to Mnuchin, is that every family member is handling stress effectively. But the problem is when one family member cannot handle the stress of their role within the family, grandparent, parent, child, and instead of effectively handling the stress, they fail at it or they become dysfunctional at it or they become unclear with it. And that messes up the hierarchy of the family tree. That messes up the roles. In most families, the expected role is the adult parents take care of the minor children. But if the adult parents are having issues managing stress, effectively dealing with stress, and turn to alcohol, for example, to manage that stress to the point to where they're not taking care of their kids, it's not at all unusual for the child who should be the one taking care of to become the caretaker and the person who should be the caretaker becoming more the child needing assistance. That's when there becomes a problem because the family structure of grandparents, parents, children, that hierarchy gets messed up. And when that hierarchy is messed up, it can lead to serious problems malfunctional behaviors and disorders. Now, Hallie's strategic. What Hallie said was to focus on what is happening in the family dynamic right now. What happened then, like in the other two theories we talked about, which included some past tense, focus on what the issue is right now. Focus on what family members are requiring of other family members in terms of their roles and positions within the family. A healthy family would be everyone is doing what they're doing to contribute to the family because that's what they want to do. But 
the issues arise when someone in the family is being forced into a role that they don't want to take on. They are being forced to be the family star and go to college and become a lawyer or become a doctor when that's not what they want. But everyone else has those expectations on them to be forced into doing this role as the family smart one. That's going to lead to disorders. It's uh, going to lead to dysfunctional interactions among the family members if one person is being forced to do something else and having all these expectations put on them. And then, of course, for the person who has the expectations put on them that they don't want, that's going to create issues there. So that's why if you look over on the bottom right side, I have the angry monkey pointing because that is the key idea where someone is being forced into doing something they don't want to do. So do this. I'm telling you to do this. So do this. Uh, that's when we end up with psychological disorders and a family in need of therapy and counseling. So that's just a quick tour of three of the family approaches when it comes to the sociocultural approach and in explaining how disorders occur. So thank you. Bye-bye.